Power Grid has seen a good spike this year from around 180 rupees a share in January. It recently made a high of 250 rupees and is now hovering around 231 level. Even at the current price, the stock offers good value. It is trading at 8 times projected earnings and 1.5 times estimated book value of FY23, which we believe is reasonable in the light of improving earnings outlook, opening up of new opportunities in the sector, easing of payment issues with state electricity boards and a good 6% dividend yield. With the higher capex and execution of ongoing projects, the company was able to witness good growth during the March quarter. It reported a 4% year-on-year growth in consolidated revenue. Last year, project execution suffered because of COVID-19 restrictions. However, the company picked up its key projects and capitalized many of them in the second half of the current fiscal. In terms of the segments, transmission, consultancy as well as telecom, growth was visible across businesses. This along with cost cutting and operating leverage in the business further aided profitability. During the March quarter, total expenditure was down 26% year on year, leading to 465 basis points improvement in the EBITDA margins to 88.4%. Net profit was up 6.4% on a year on year basis, which was relatively slow on account of lower contribution from subsidiaries and JVs due to transfer of assets through its recent invit. The government intends to spend close to 3 lakh crore over the next 5 to 6 years on transmission. This on an annualized basis works out to an opportunity of about 60,000 crores. Power Grid is the leading player with 50 to 55% market share and getting projects on a nomination basis would have enough opportunities to grab more projects. The trajectory remains good. So far the company has delivered better than expectations. In FY21 the company's project capitalization stood at 21500 crores as against 15300 crores in FY20. For FY22 as well the company has guided capitalization of about 17 to 18000 crores with annual capex guidance of about 8 to 10000 crores. It has a decent amount of projects in hand which are worth 41000 crores. Besides the company indicated that it's eyeing opportunities in the interstate transmission projects pertaining to renewable energy and tariff based competitive bidding project worth 10300 crores it also plans to transfer assets worth about 5000 crores further through invit which will improve liquidity that can be used for funding new projects overall the pipeline of projects remains good and thus the earnings and cash flows are expected to grow at a decent pace supporting valuations and its stock